Hi everyone, welcome back to Festive Friday. So today is going to be my gift wrapping video. As you can see, I have all my gift wrapping bits and pieces ready to go here. I've got ribbon, I've got bows, I've got twine, I've got washi tape, I've got paper lovers books, sticker books, and I'm basically ready to go. So the way that I like to do wrapping, basically, is I like to use a really sort of simple technique of brown paper. So this brown paper is just from Officeworks. It's just a big roll from their postage section. As you can see, it's brand new because I just ran out of all my old stuff. So I'm just going to take off this first sort of outer layer just to get rid of all the crappy bits. And it's stuck down tight anyway. I haven't actually used this paper before. I usually use just stuff from Kmart, but it's always got that gloss kind of finish to it that I really don't like. Goodness me. They make this really hard to get into. I'm just going to run just a little... That's really um, light. Hopefully that doesn't come through too many of the layers. In fact, I don't even think it's gone through the one layer. That's better. The good thing is there's plenty of it. so. It doesn't really matter if I waste a little bit. There we go. So this is just a brown, plain brown paper, matte finish if I could find it. It's hard to talk while I'm doing that. Um, and all I like to do is just wrap the presents up and then use um, a belly band and then ribbon, twine, whatever to kind of decorate it. Um, this year, as you would have seen when I did my big, or well, not my big Christmas haul, my little Christmas haul, I've bought this matte paper from Kiki K to use instead of the usual shiny wrapping paper. And the thing that I really, really like about wrapping my presents as opposed to decorating my tree is that I don't have to stay to my theme. You guys know I've been doing red, white and silver basically everywhere. When I take these to Christmas, they're not actually going to be needing to be in that theme. So if I want to branch out and use some black or some, not some black, I'm already using black. If I want to use some green or some gold, I can do that because it's not going to affect anything. So I'm going to do them all kind of differently. I never do them all the same anyway, but I'll show you how I'm going to do the first one and then I'll do all the other ones sort of separately so that I can sort of just show you how I'm decorating them as opposed to how to wrap them. Cause let's face it, everybody knows how to wrap a present. So we'll start off with this box here. Don't worry, this is Ryan's box, but he already knows what he's getting. So it's not like this is going to surprise him at all. So I'm just going to put that in the middle. The only thing about this particular wrapping paper is it's obviously not all that. Oh, I could probably go that way. No, I couldn't. Okay, so we're going to wrap from the sides as opposed to wrapping from the top, which means you're going to need a little bit more paper roll that out and this is the advantage of having a gigantic desk wrapping presents is not so complicated there we go. so the other thing I'm going to try today which I don't usually try I'm going to try wrapping with double sided tape as opposed to sticky tape because I love the way it looks when you don't have any sticky tape but whether or not I can actually do it I don't know so we'll soon find out. So just grabbing my glue tape and just putting just a little touch there. You can see how bad that cut was. Oh dear. Oh well. And then going with the other side which thankfully was nowhere near as bad and just pulling that as tight as I can guessing where the cut was. Oh, that was a good guess. And then just sticking that down. It looks so much better. Now comes the fun part, because I suck at this part, which is the folding and actually 
sticking down part because yeah I'm not really very good at it. So I just try and tuck it in as tight as I possibly can and then sort of make one really obvious fold so that you can stick it down later. If you want to, and this is only if you are crazy like me and trying to get it absolutely perfect, you can sort of stick these down as you go, even if you just do it with just a little bit of tape so that it's not permanent permanent, it's just enough to hold it still. And then doing the same thing with the other side. The corners for me are the hardest part because I, I, I hate when they look sort of, I don't know how, what the word is, but I, I hate when they look really silly. So I try and make the corners as right as I possibly can. I don't stress out too much about if these look right. You can always change these. It's so easy to just fold this down after the fact. As I say, and it doesn't actually look all that easy. And then I tilt it, tauta, sort of tend to fold that where I want it, which didn't work. And then I'm just going to do a tack spot just there to hold it while I do the other side because that way you can use the, the, the fact that that's glued in to sort of push a little bit harder on this side, even though it's not permanently stuck. I will say I like this brown paper more than the paper I used last year. The paper I used last year was really shiny but really hard to work with. It just yeah, it didn't want to do what I wanted it to. sort of basicness of it then once it's all done then I can sort of go in this and pull it a little bit tighter like I said I haven't done this with double sided tape before so I'm not quite sure what I'm doing but we'll work it out on this it'll obviously stick down a little bit better but even then it's still making me a bit nervous I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side Oops. thankfully the top looks good even if the sides don't look completely good the top always looks great so for this particular present, I am going to go with the red, just because I think the first one I do should be with the red. But now I've got to decide if I want to use the trees, the presents, or the stripes. Trees, presents, or stripes. I think we'll go with the presents for this one. I'm just pulling that out. I'm going to put the present off to the side for a minute. So what I'm going to do, you can do the belly band either way. You can either do it so it sits this way or so it sits that way. Because I've got so much of this paper and this is, I, I could do it round this way, but because it's a lengthways present, I'm going to just do it this way. So I'm just going to cut this out with scissors, if I can find where I put them. 
and I'm just picking like a, a line to sort of go up. So I'm just going to go up this side and I'll be back in just a sec. I did an absolutely terrible job with that, I can already see, and I'm not happy, but anyway, can't be a perfectionist all the time. As I say, as things fall onto the floor. What I am going to do though to kind of cover my mistake a little bit, so what I did was I started off really wide and I've kind of come in a little bit, but now it's left all this space on this side, so I am just going to trim off that excess just to sort of cover the boo-boo a little bit. That's better. Just doesn't look quite as uneven. So then I grab the present back in and then we're just going to stick it down. I'm just going to flip this over. I'm going to cover up sort of where that um, paper join is. So all you do is you just put it there, stick it down on this side. Again, that can be done with just normal sticky tape if you don't want to use double-sided tape because it is slightly making it a little bit more complicated. And then pull tight. And that's when you can see this part. And then all I do is I just sort of trim off the excess bit so you don't end up with too much. Stick it down on the side that you're pulling as opposed to the other side. And then you should just be able to stick it down. And then when you flip it over, it looks like that. Oh, I really like this. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull in some ribbon. I'm going to use this one here. I go slightly over the top with my presents. I will admit that. I like to have them looking... Wrapping for me is much more important than even giving the present. I feel like the more effort you put into the wrapping, the more special it is. I don't know why. It's just a weird little thing that I do. So I'm just going to do just enough to go around this one. So we'll just flip that back over again and get our ribbon. And we'll put that just along the top there. And again, you can tie this one if you want to. What I'm going to do is just stick it down with tape just because I think it's a little bit easier and it doesn't leave that sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Bump from where the knot is. So I'm just putting that there and then just going to cut off that little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of extra twine, which is then when I'm going to be able to stick. I'm just dropping things all over the ground. I'm just going to grab some tags out of here. I like to put my names on the tags. You don't have to, but that's what I like to do. I'm just grabbing a couple of these ones. And again, doing my normal Ashley thing and cutting off the little bits. I don't actually think it would be one of my videos if I didn't cut the little tabs off. You guys wouldn't know it was me. Oh, that's come loose. I'll fix it in a sec. 
if you wanted to be really, really worried about that ribbon, you could stick it down on both sides. So run glue tape along all of this and stick it down. You could even run it through a sticker maker if you really wanted to. Oh no, hold on. Oh no, it is stretching. I thought it was. Maybe the glue tape won't actually hold it. Can't see why not. But I'll just see, leave it sitting up like that for a minute. So with the twine, I'm going to run it this way. So I'm just running. Radio. I'm getting the point. Not everything works. I just think it's sticking to the tape, to the other string that's actually causing it a problem. So what I'm going to do is just put, it's going to be a little annoying, but thankfully this is Ryan, so he won't mind so much. So Mr. Ryan, because he's the smart one of the family, has just pointed out something very, 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 very clever. So I'm still going to leave that there, but I'm just going to run a little bit of glue along here, which then should stick the ribbon down. He's so much smarter than me sometimes. Silly. <laughs> oh, he is. He's just so much smarter than me. There we go. So that should stay now, hopefully. So back to the twine. This twine's just from the reject shop. I haven't been able to find it. Their website's not really all that great for finding things. So um, it is in store. If you just look in the Christmas section, it's right there. It's great. Like twine's twine, but it's it's really good quality stuff, which I don't generally expect from the reject shop. So I'm just going to put this up this way, just to do this bit. So I'm just going to wrap it like this. I'm just going to go around three times and then just tie it off. No, I'm not. Ha, I knew I'd forgotten something. I forgot to put the tags on there. Duh. So on this one with the open me, so I'm just going to write Ryan on the back of it so that we know that's his present. have them sitting like that so I'm just gonna put them that back up again that ribbon and I are not getting along we'll fix it in a minute Just threading the tags on. I think I've done that around the wrong way. I just want them to sit in the middle. Yeah, I have, but it's alright. I'll have that at the front. And then again, you can do, if you want to stick it down just to tack it, you can. I'm not going to just because I think I can get it to sit where I want it to without having to do that. that ribbon in a second too. So just putting it like that. It's always nice to have someone on hand to be able to help you at these moments. One, two, go. Aha! And then just cut off the excess. Fix the ribbon. <laughs> while we're here and all. I'm hoping when it's actually like on a, on the floor and not being played with quite so much, it might stick. Uh oh, I heard something moving around in there. Was this breakable? Good, good. There we go. So that is the first present. I'm just feeling like it's missing something, something gonna grab this little red heart and I'm just putting that down in the corner there so that's my first present what I'm gonna do with the others just so you don't have to sit through that every time every time will be slightly different but not massively different so I'm just gonna wrap all my presents up in really fast motion and then I'll show you them all at the end so I'm just gonna do that and I'll be back in just a minute or two maybe go and grab yourself a drink this might take a little while even in fast motion so go and grab yourself a drink, press pause, go grab yourself a drink, and then watch the next bit.
Okay, so that is all my presents wrapped, except these two little ones. What I just want to see, and I'm not quite sure if it's going to, but I'm going to try. I'm just going to grab the bonbon from this one, which is here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. I'm just going to grab the bonbon from this one. I just want to see if this little one will fit in the bonbon. present happens to be for me so if it doesn't fit I'm quite happy to actually just take it out of its box right here. so oh, that's right this pops out I have made one of these before I think I've got the link down below so if you want to check it out you can last year I just made these and filled them with lollies for the boys Fold it up like this. And I don't think it's going to fit if I leave it in its box, but it might fit if I don't. I'm just going to take it out of its little box. We're gonna try it anyway. Because it's for me, it doesn't really matter if it isn't completely perfect. So all you do with this one, you put the glue tape on these little flaps at the top, and then you stick them to the other end. Generally a good idea to stick them straight which I just didn't do so hold on there we go what I like to do with these is position it where it is where it needs to be sorry and then flatten it out just so you can give it a really good adhesion and then you push this end in like that you tie that off. I'm just going to grab there. It is. I think I've now used every ribbon. Oh no, I haven't. I haven't used a red one. I have to use that in my last wrap. Just grab a little bit of this one. it sort of as tight as you can make it so you don't want things popping out the end with these ones I don't put bows on them I just tend to tie it in a double knot and cut off the excess just it's a little bit tricky to do bows on these put that in there oh she fits perfect and just grab a little bit more ribbon Try and line it up so that the knots are on the same side. It is sticking out a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just trying to twist this around so that it sits with the shiny side up, not the brown side up, but it's not doing a very good job of that. Okay. And then with this one, I'll just grab a tag out of the Paper Lovers book. There we go. I just got 
got one more little thing to wrap, so I'm going to wrap that and I'll be back in two seconds. Okay guys that is most of my presents I do actually still have two or three more to go which really we haven't bought them yet so I can't show you um, but well, you've seen enough so they are slightly all kind of the same but a little bit different I love doing the belly bands I love using the ribbon you would have seen along the way I stopped just putting the ribbon the glue on the back of the ribbon and just put the ribbon the glue on the ribbon the whole way around that made it a heck of a lot easier <laughs> So if I can suggest doing that, that would be my suggestion. Um, also, just a little tip with the silver glitter ribbon from Kiki K, the fallout on that is insane. The copper one is nowhere near as bad. So if you're gonna use the silver one, be prepared for a ton of glitter all over your desk. It's lots of fun, but gonna cause a bit of a mess later on. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was really long. I hope you didn't get bored halfway through. <laughs> I think the finished product is worth it though. I love the way these look. They just, every time I look at them, they make me smile. So I'm, I'm a big fan of these ones. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You can contact me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, or you can send me an email. They're all down below. Or you can leave me a comment. I'm gonna do another one of my giveaways. You guys know the drill with them. This is the last one. I'll put all the terms and conditions down below so you guys don't need to hear me ramble on about it for five minutes. So that is it. I will draw it next Thursday night, 7.30pm Queensland time, Australian Queensland time. I'm sure you guys know that bit. Other than that, I hope you have a great, great weekend. Hope you get to wrap your presents. Tag me in any pictures you do of your presents on Instagram. I'd love to see them. Other than that, I will see you next week. See you later. Bye.